Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to explain what to do when your iPhone says iMessage is waiting for activation. Before we dive in, a couple things you should know. iMessage can take up to 24 hours to activate according to Apple. Sometimes to be a little bit of a patient here and just wait it out. Uh, secondly, you have to be connected to cellular data or Wi-Fi before you can activate iMessage. So make sure those are turned on. That's actually one of our first steps. But before we do that, the first thing to do is check Apple's system status page and make sure there's a green dot next to iMessage. If there's not a green dot next to iMessage, there's probably an issue on Apple's end and that's why iMessage is waiting for activation. You just checked Apple servers, everything is fine. The first thing you should do now is Turn iMessage off and back on, just toggle that switch and see if that makes a difference. All right, so what we're gonna do is go to the settings app on your iPhone and then scroll down to messages. And right now I have iMessage off on my iPhone, so I'll tap the switch to the right of that to turn it on. It says waiting for activation. You're probably stuck here. And even though iMessage is working properly on my iPhone, you can see that it does not activate immediately. Usually iMessage will activate after just a few minutes. It won't take the full 24 hours, although that can be the case. So you kind of have to wait it out. But if this isn't activating immediately or after at least 10 minutes, there, there might be a problem. So keep going through these troubleshooting steps because waiting might not be enough to fix it. Yep, next, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi or cellular data. You need one to send to activate iMessage. So mm -hmm. we'll just go into the settings app and Check Wi-Fi, check cellular data. Right, so to do that, I'm just gonna tap back in the upper left-hand corner to settings in the settings app, and I'll scroll up to the top to Wi-Fi, tap on that, and then I'm gonna tap the green switch on the right side of Wi-Fi to turn off Wi-Fi, and that's gonna force my iPhone to connect to cellular data. If you're having a problem with this, go back to the Messages app, turn off iMessage, and then turn it back on again. Wait several minutes, see if that fixes the problem. It only needs to activate one time. So even if it was spotty or it wasn't working on Wi-Fi at home, this might fix the problem permanently. So I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi back on. And if you weren't on Wi-Fi and you're having this problem, go to McDonald's or Starbucks or anywhere where there's free, I guess, well, right now we're in the coronavirus thing, so we're quarantined. Go somewhere where there's Wi-Fi and connect to the Wi-Fi network and then try to activate iMessage and that could also fix the problem. The next thing to do is turn airplane mode on and back off again. Just toggle the switch real quick. When you turn airplane mode on, your iPhone disconnects from cellular networks. And this can just give it a chance to fresh connection to your cellular network when you turn airplane mode back off. This is akin to the old unplug it and plug it back in trick. Tap back to settings in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Tap the green switch next to airplane mode. Enabling airplane mode will end your phone call. Are you sure you want to? I'm going to not do that right yeah. now. I'm going to hit cancel. David and I are actually using a phone call and a computer to record our video right now and practicing social distancing uh, with the coronavirus, but it's pretty amazing that we can do this at all with the technology. Yep, the, uh, the next step is kind of a lesser known one. It's making sure that your date and time zone are set up correctly. Uh, if they're not set up correctly, iMessage might not activate. Indeed. So to check your date and time zone settings, come on down to general and then go down to date and time and tap on that. And right now I have set automatically turned on. Just toggle set automatically off and back on again and make sure that your correct time zone is listed underneath set automatically and try turning on iMessage again and hopefully it activates. Our next step is to restart your iPhone. Maybe there is a wider software problem on your iPhone that's preventing iMessage from activating. Restarting it can fix minor software bugs and hopefully fix the problem you're experiencing. On your iPhone, tap back in the upper left-hand corner to go back to the main general menu, then go all the way to the bottom and tap shut down. That's gonna turn off your iPhone. Then press and hold the power button on the side from the top if it's an older phone. Till the Apple logo appears on the screen, you know how to turn on your phone. Turn it back on again. Yeah, you See turned if it, it works. Yeah. You turn it back on, iMessage still won't activate. Check for an iOS update. Apple regular, regularly releases these to patch up any bugs. Maybe they fixed a problem with iMessage and now so you need to update your phone and iMessage will activate. Scroll to the top of general, tap on software update. And if a software update is available, like it is on my phone, you can tap download and install. Your iPhone will reboot. Hopefully iMessage will activate, that'll fix the problem. 
Yep, our next step is to sign out and back into your Apple ID. iMessage is linked to your Apple ID on your iPhone. So signing out and signing back in can fix a minor account issue. To sign out of your Apple ID and sign back in, just tap back in the upper left-hand corner of the screen to go to the main settings menu and scroll all the way to the top to where it says your name and tap on your name, scroll to the bottom of the screen and tap sign out. You'll sign out of your account, then it'll ask you to sign back in. Just enter your Apple ID and password, which hopefully you know. And hopefully that'll fix the problem with iMessage too. Yep, if that doesn't fix the problem, our next step is to check for a carrier settings update. These are released by your carrier to improve your phone's connection to their cellular network. Usually when a carrier settings update is available, you get a pop-up on your screen saying carrier settings update, but you can manually check for one in the settings app by going to general about. Right. And most people, a lot of people that I know anyway, when they see that little pop-up, they don't know what it is, so they just hit no. There's nothing to be afraid of with these updates ever. So tap back in the upper left-hand corner to go back to the main settings menu and then scroll down to general. Tap on general. Then tap about at the top and wait here. Unfortunately, there's no check for carrier settings update button. Give it about 10 seconds and if a pop-up pops up, one's available, if nothing pops up, it's not available. That's it. So for me, there isn't one available right now. Yep, so our final software troubleshooting step is to reset network settings. This resets all of your Wi-Fi, cellular, VPN, and Bluetooth settings back to factory default. So write down your Wi-Fi passwords. You'll have to reconnect your Bluetooth devices, which is kind of a pain, uh, but it can fix a deeper software problem. Right, so I'm gonna tap back to general. We're spending a lot of time in general today. Scroll all the way to the bottom, Tap on reset and then tap reset network settings. I'll ask you for your passcode, you'll enter that, your iPhone will reboot, and then it, you'll have to re enter your Wi Fi password. But this can get things unstuck at a deeper level. Yeah, if that doesn't work, well, I guess it's time to contact Apple or your wireless carrier. If iMessage was working fine before and Apple system servers say that iMessage is working fine, try contacting your carrier. Maybe there was a disruption in your cell phone plan. Otherwise, you can reach out to Apple support. They've got a great chat support, phone support. Super easy to get help from Apple when this problem occurs. Right, when I was working at the Apple store, this was a frustrating problem because it wasn't something that we could solve in the store immediately all the time. Apple stores themselves don't have a reset or hookup iMessage button. It's, it's much deeper than that, it's at corporate. So I highly recommend using Apple's chat or phone support to try to fix this problem because if you go to the store and spend all that time, Really, all that's going to happen is they're going to file a report and then they will escalate it to tier two or whatever it was called. And then they will have to fix the problem. And then you have to go home and you don't have a resolution. So just call, use the chat. Don't go into the store for this one. They can't fix it. Yep, that's what to do when iMessage is waiting for activation on your iPhone. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave us a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about iPhones.